I'm Dustin at Rocky Mountain, and these are my top five tips for easy dirt bike tire changes. Tire changes don't have to be hard. They can actually be very quick and easy, so long as you have the right tools, the right tips and tricks, and some patience. So to help you make your tire changes easier, here are my top five tips for easy dirt bike tire changes. All right, now the first item on my list is the drop center. Now it's very important that you know and understand what the drop center is on a rim. So over here on our Tusk Impact wheel, you can see that down the center of the rim, we've got this contour to it. This is known as the drop center. Now, that's very crucial that when you're installing or removing a tire, that the tire speed is able to make it into this drop center. Now, what this is going to do for us is provide adequate clearance on the opposite side where we are working the tire speed over the rim with our tire irons. Now, the better you are at keeping the tire speed into the drop center when changing it out, it's gonna make it a whole heck of a lot easier to change the tire, and you're also gonna be less likely to damage your rim or the tire itself. Now, we've got a really great how-to video that will show you how to easily change out a dirt bike tire and it also covers the drop center. So be sure that you check that out. All right, now the second tip on my list is tire iron choice. Now, when it comes to choosing tire irons, it's more of a preference to you as to what works best. However, what I found that works best for me is the Tusk Tire Iron Kit. So it's gonna come with two tire spoons and then this longer tire iron that features the length and the curve. Now, what's nice about it is that length. It's gonna give us a lot more leverage when we're working the tire speed onto the rim. Now, the other feature that I like about this tool is the curve to it. Now, what this does is it's gonna allow for us to get the tool underneath the bead onto the rim when we've got that really tight section of the bead that we're trying to work over on the rim. It's also gonna help you to prevent from getting scratches on your rim. So really cool kit from Tusk that's definitely gonna make changing tires for you a lot easier. All right, now the third tip on my list is to use a motorcycle tire bead tool. Now the one that we've got here is from Tusk and what's cool about this tool is it allows you to attach it to the rim and it's gonna help you to keep the tires bead down into the drop center. So like we were talking about on our first tip, keeping the tires bead into the drop center on the rim while you're installing it is absolutely crucial to get the tire changed. So when you're using this tool, it's like having an extra hand or someone else there to help you keep the tire speed into the drop center, which is gonna make tire changes a whole lot easier. Now I've got several different options of this tool on our website, including a mini motorcycle tire bead tool, which is really great to be able to throw in your trail pack when you're out trail riding. And that is my third tip. My fourth tip on the list is to slightly inflate your tube when installing your tire. Now what this is going to do is help prevent you from getting a pinch flat during the installation process. Because I know you all have been there when you've installed a new tire, a new tube onto the rim, then when you go to inflate it, you find out that you've gotten a pinch flat during the installation process, which is super frustrating. So to save you that headache, always be sure to slightly inflate your tube. Now what I mean by that is add just enough air to give it some shape and some body. If you put too much air into the tube when installing the tire, it's gonna make it much more difficult to get it installed. But if you don't put enough air inside of there, you're going to increase your chances of getting a pinch flat. So whenever you change your tires, always be sure to remember to slightly inflate your tube, again, to help prevent you from getting a pinch flat. My fifth tip I wanna to talk to you about is tire lubricant. Now when using a tire lubricant to change out the tire, it's basically going to make or break your ability to do so without damaging the rim or the tire itself. Now a lot of people will ask me, you know, what type of tire lubricant should I be using? So I decided to do some research and found out that a lot of people are using soapy water in a spray bottle, baby powder, or even Windex. Now these will all get the job done. However, you're not going to get the advantages from using a tire mounting lubricant. Now, by using a specifically designed tire mounting lubricant, it's going to make the process a whole lot easier. The stuff's very slippery, it's very slick, plus shortly after it's been applied, it's going to evaporate, unlike the water-based products like the soapy water and the Windex. So to help you to keep your tire changes clean and easy, I definitely recommend that you pick up a specifically designed tire mounting lubricant. And those are my top five tips for easy dirt bike tire changes. Now be sure to check out our in-depth how-to video that will show you how to properly change out a dirt bike tire. And if you're to run into any questions, be sure to let us know and leave a comment below. Now, if you like this video and you wanna see more, be sure to hit the like button, then subscribe to our YouTube channel for more product spotlights, how-tos, and top fives. I'm Dustin with Rocky Mountain. Thanks for watching and keep the wrenches turning.